Man. That, you know what? No, and you are just a fucking character on the internet, yo. I'm literally here with you, and I'm looking at you. You're just the internet character. Okay, cool. But can 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 you not confirm that there's a difference between you on the internet and person? Oh, absolutely. Okay, and I see that the essence being right here, right now. It's just it's not the same. I expected you to be. Thank you. Or do you want me to include you in my lawsuit? Come running! Come running! Fuck you running for? I ain't breaking no laws. Can you? Can you? You running for? Where's Ramirez? I have no idea. He assaulted me. He assaulted and they put me in a hospital on an APAP. When I was assaulted at that barbershop over there, they call Legends 517 right there. You remember it was on YouTube. Them arresting me, hog tying me, treating me like George Floyd. And the only reason they ain't do more was because my husband was filming. What can we do for you? What do you mean? I asked the bitch to get me um, the legal information. I'm suing y'all hoes. Motherfucker. Pieces of shit. Who the f hired Ramirez? He has the worst. He has the worst reputation on the street. And he assaulted me after I had been assaulted. Oh, by the way, I've already called the DEA since y'all don't like to do your job because Bobby over there at Legends is pushing and to the entire community. And Ramirez knows it. You told Ramirez this? Oh, I told Ramirez I'm gonna have a big black guy with his wife. Soon as I find her, it's gonna happen. I'ma film it. Put that. On world star Fucker. oh no I, yeah i have to make a complaint because my husband just assaulted me the other day um over at allure he threatened to kill me so i need to file a police report but i need to get the legal information first i'm gonna have all y'all mother jobs y'all hired that piece of ramirez who likes to beat on women you know usually cops that beat on women have very small I would know. My uncle was the chief of police. He had a small And he fucked all the bitches. All them prostitutes. He got all them free jobs. All them years, my uncle Bobby, God rest his soul, God bless the dead. Why am I waiting? I was in the hospital for nine days. They put me in on an A, pal. I had bruises. My fucking thumb and my pinky was done from where they stood on my back with a fucking handcuff. Where's the and get me a cop so I can file a complaint. Y'all please move too slow. I just want to know who paid the fucking judge to put me in the hospital when I die. What are you doing? I would hear and see, you know, in the streets, even with Storm and Row, you know, and the, the big falling out that they had. It's so weird when people say that. Uh, let's be clear. You don't care about Storm and Row, okay? You cared about the millions plus views that he got with Jaguar, right? When he sent up that he burst in them Nigerians over at Real Life Street Stars, letting Jaguar, right, run amok and do the ultimate supreme form of defamation against real people to keep our names in the lights and position it next to the great you know, that's all she do. So uh, you wanted to position your name next to Storm Monroe, not knowing that he got them clicks and views because he let Jaguar Wright sit up there and tell all them lies, even though he know it was a lie. You know it was a lie. And you wanted to tap into that girl. Let's Jaguar be clear. Jaguar hasn't lied yet. What has she told the truth about? Jaguar gets public sympathy and empathy because, again, people feel sorry for her. She's just been running around for years regurgitating things she's heard not things that she's seen when you've had people like common summer walker tevin campbell my girl yo yo the rapper but the problem is people don't care the fact that she can invoke an emotional response from them means that she wins and she gets the cloud and attention that she wants on youtube isn't that exactly what tasha k did to cardi b it's the game you play win stupid prizes and all both of them bitches miserable countless others claudia jordan so many other people that have came forward and says that she is a liar. If Claudia Jordan was a doo-wop, bop, bop, diddy, doo-wop, bop, bop. If Jack was telling the truth, why wouldn't Claudia say yes to these things? She keeps bringing up Kathy White. Claudia's like, I didn't have a relationship with her like that. Like, we were cool, nice girl, but we weren't like that. A lot of people 
you know, were blindsided by, you know, Jasmine. Even the fact that she sat up on Armand Wiggins' platform and said Nosy Ho showed her a video of Nick of Megan Thee Stallion eating Nikki's twat, and Nosy Ho came out and said she lied on her dead mama, on oh, her dead mama, means that she's a liar. Jaguar Wright is an internet grifter. There's different levels of content creation, and she's trying to position herself as an authority when she's not. Her opinion is no more relevant, valid than myself, Sean David Way, or Tissa Tell, which we're going to get to. What the hell is Tissa Tell on? Oh. Why are you know in the past? So, to jump back into another thing I want to clear from the interview, no one was making fun of her. Like, go, no, no, get me wrong. Now, Tasha K was gleeful. Why I kept really laughing yesterday when I brought up the jail thing is because it was hilarious that she's blaming it on Tasha. Now, if she put the crime stopper thing up, so what? Like, and you don't care about no Tasha. You and Tasha drug each other for filth. You still mad at me and won't shake no hands with me because I hit your goddamn pockets where you said and told lies about me. Don't tell no lies about me and I won't have to tell truths about you. You still mad because I hit your pockets when I said that that was last year. I don't have a problem with you. You're funny. Don't sit here and act like you were a victim and wasn't complicit and egg and aided and abated all of this stuff for clicks, views, likes. You even got Shirley Gordon, a.k.a. Pam over there who docks Jaguar right sister and mama address over there supporting you with money you benefited off a of jag so why are you sitting here telling this story like you are uh straddling the fence you straddled the fence more than i'm gonna do with the barbs i mean it was just sitting there like anybody could have posted it a lot of y'all have been watching all of the bullshit you know on these other you know channels of, of her interviewing about celebrities and whatnot so y'all like stuck in that exactly real life street stars those dudes are nigerian they do not care about Jaguar right at all. And we're going to break it down. Jag, you might want to be careful before you become the new Mo3 over there in Dallas, Texas with them Nigerians that done hit a million views and don't want you to hit nobody else's platform. You and Gene Deal. Y'all ain't got to worry about Hollywood. You better worry about them Nigerians over there in the scap. You got, you know, man. And I say it's bullshit because it's her. So no matter where she go, where she go anywhere talking about celebrities, it's bullshit. Exactly. Either she's free because she called me. Uh, the reason in the interview with Tasha yesterday, uh, when I talked to Jaguar on the phone, why I was smirking and laughing and annoyed and all of that stuff is because, again, I've been on this road before. Last year, around this time, Jaguar went to jail. Shout out to the official King Payne for... Jaguar went to jail, and when she went to jail, you made a lot of money. You had a funeral for her before her own mama died. Now you want to rebirth her, bring her back to life. You didn't get your most viral video. You need Jag, nigga. Keep it a big. You need a girl. You need her. Have flip. Raising a GoFundMe with the Crown, fa the Crown family, his um, following, and they raised the money on GoFundMe for over $3,000 to get her out of jail. I helped her mother, who is now deceased, okay? Her mother passed away this year. Her funeral is on Sunday. Let's not be, let's make it clear. Jamal Bryant got Jack White out of jail, full paid cash, in and all money, that Burger King over there, that the cicada. Look at my goddamn fly swatter, because I know I'm going to need it. Even for Tissa Tell, goddamn man, with them big old eyes. Y'all gripped it off of that lady. So t shirt sold merch. And uh, King Payne with the Mexico with her money got air money. That's why I'm glad I went to Brazil on my own dime and not on behalf of Jaguar, right? You need a girl, half flip. God rest your soul, Mama Francis, we love you. And shout out to the Wright family, okay? My condolences um, in y'all time of need. I was busy getting her son and her sick mother. To their families because she left them in the street she went to jail i'm not gonna lie he did do that jaguar right went to jail on purpose she went up there and told the police that she was out on the apal and on the stretcher and prescribed lithium they put her goddamn ass in jail she did in fact abandon her son her husband who's a man child and her also mama Okay, last video, last footage we seen of Mama Francis. They was getting put out of their apartment over in Dallas, Texas, and Mama Francis looked like Don King, like she ain't had no how do or nothing. Neglected, okay. Okay, her mama looked like she was ready to go walk up on Skid Row because that's what she would be if she was alive today with Jaguar right in Los Angeles. And left them in a hotel, okay, in these blue couches and the Storm Monroe's and the other people that she done sat with and done helped them get all this money and, you know, all of this stuff and all these views and go viral and whatnot, they were all silent. None of them. That is absolutely a fact. 
and those people that he named, the Blue Couch and the Storm and Rose, they aided and abated this whole bullshit that she has, where she gets to take everybody's opinion and theory and collectively regurgitate that to establish herself as an authority because of the Storm and Rose that don't know how to interview. But he learned that from Tasha K, where people just sit down and run them up. You can run amok based on your own shit, but what, why are you talking about these other people? Jaguar Wright is an actress without a script, and she don't even know how to read a real script. She's just making it up in her head. Bipolar schizophrenic delusion. Them did anything, nothing. Her elderly mother and her son were out on the streets, and she was spending her mother's funds because she doesn't have any income. Now, the truck... That was her responsibility to turn in, which is what she just got arrested for. She had just got evicted on live with her elderly mother and her son outside in front of the world. Her mother needed medicine. She had none. She was a diabetic and more. While right before she went to said hotel and got arrested, she was yelling at her mother because her mother with the, they got super evicted. They removed These everything are all out facts. of the apartment because she did not move it out in the, the adequate time given by the eviction, court ordered, to remove the items out of the home. So her and her mom and her son were fetching their belongings. Her elderly mother, sickly elderly mother, was outside fetching through trash which once were belongings. He's right, but this is the moment where we disconnect. Girl, you don't give a f You got your own shit going on. You got your own life story. You sat there and lied act like Michael Stupica and all of them one years and act like nobody had the right address, but you got a P.O. box over there in Claremont MN. Girl, you told on yourself. You, I don't believe these tears no more or less than I believe the tears that you cried when you sat up there and talking about act like you didn't know Legina Gold was out of her motherfucking mind talking about she is R. Kelly and a little daughter. Girl, why do you cry? Every so blue moon, whenever it's time to build it. You know what? I get what you're saying. You can have your little period on YouTube every three months. It was disgusting. It was disgusting. Girl, stop the fake ass tears. I was not going to let her sit outside like that. And no one did nothing. Nobody. Then why you let your mama sit outside? We want to hear you talk about your relationship with your own mama instead of how you crying about somebody else's mama. And when he did this, them super chat, super sticker started flowing. They had a money train over that bitch and they ain't never stopped flowing ever since he did these tears. Girl, you're grifting. They did anything. They just reported on the shit. I'm like, y'all just going to leave him out there? Like, okay, I get y'all don't like her. Like, I get it. I get it. I get it. Y'all hate her. I get it. I get it. <laughs> But what did Mama Francis do? Like, she um, but what the Mama Francis do? Child, you auditioning for the Tasha K exclusive. You auditioning for the Lachelle Wright exclusive for what happened at the funeral and what the family said. Girl, to me, it's given what you tried to do in the Mahogany Jackson situation, which is why I ignored your calls and shut your motherfucking ass down when you did one video. Girl, we ain't believing this. I said, come out, come out, wherever you are. The real Sean David Wade, the messy hair flip bitch. Okay, come on. Now, this bitch, you know, I don't Sam know didn't her. Do anything. I would never let my mom go through nothing like that. Girl, what? And that woman didn't deserve it. What? What do I need to tell the story? Let's keep it a bean. The only reason we know these stories is because of Tasha K stalking you and taking pictures and figuring out all of this stuff. And you supposed to be her friend, girl. You auditioning for a click and a view. You didn't sell your soul for a motherfucking click and view. That's what I'm not finna do. I don't care if it's 300 views versus 300 million views, bitch. I'm not finna sell my soul for that. And you sitting up here booty clapping, ass licking, and stuff like this with all this contradictory shit in your real motherfucking life that wouldn't be on the internet if it wasn't for Tasha K. That. Jag, you knew what you were doing. You had her money and you didn't assist. You could have paid that rent. You chose not to. And that's why that woman got evicted. And you know that's why. And you took no accountability. Instead, you sat outside and you blamed it on that apartment building. You yelled at her. You pushed her. All of that. Why? Because she was grabbing food. She didn't know it was spoiled. She didn't know it was expired. And you slapping it out of her head and all this stuff. Like, it, it was crazy. Jaguar turned her own mother against her own daughter. So Lachelle and their family losing out on all of this time with this woman. And she just died last year. 
like that this year and they just got her back girl you trying to do an exclusive interview with lachelle and jaguar right you auditioning she out of jail and shit, girl. Is you trying? Like I said, I am the creator. I never, not once, did I play with Jaguar right in some celebrities on my motherfucking platform. It was all about her and getting her motherfucking mental health in order. I'm the one who put Jaguar right in a position to win. She might be getting cash and paid from real life street stars, but I'm the one who put her in a position to win. And y'all all attacked me, doxed me, came out to me, girl. You don't give a fuck about none of this, girl. You showing how mentally ill you is. Talking about Mama Francis, we ain't talking about your own mama, girl. These fake-ass tears, crocodile tears. They already say you got that jail. Amos, no, girl, come on. You know, so to just get her back. Girl, we gone, ain't believe you. I wonder why I don't talk about this situation with Mama Francis because it really does hurt me. Like... Bitch, you crying for Mama Francis. We ain't gonna believe when you cry for your own mama. Cause them tears ain't genuine on either side for Mama Francis or your own goddamn mama. Girl, you doing whatever you need to do to get these. I, I get it, girl. I get it, girl. I ain't, I just here to tell the truth. That's why I can't be friends with you. Cause you know I'm gonna tell you the truth. But I think you're absolutely hilarious. Thank you for leaving me out the bullshit. Even though I know you feel like you allocated your bullshit towards me to the robot. I didn't meet her. But talking to her every single day while Jaguar was in jail and that woman was lost. She didn't know what to do. Her own daughter couldn't convince her. Her own daughter, Lachelle, Jaguar's sister, is begging her mom to come home. And she would not come home every day. You auditioning, girl. You want Lachelle on your platform. And when you do, I'm going to re-premiere another video when she was on my platform, girl. You was double backing on my content. Ain't it when I was in Puerto Rico, y'all put 19 false copyright strikes against my panel to shut me down because I took over the sector and you mad about it and you still bad about it? Or is you just mad because I hit your pockets and that's why you don't want to, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, yeah, girl. Um, I done did all of this content. They can't say nothing new, nothing novel. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to hear the original, the authentic original interviews and the exclusive interviews with the people that he's baiting for his platform. Kind of how you baited Jessica to your platform for the Mahogany Jackson case and I already had the content, girl, bye. The thing was Jackie. So that's when I knew that I was done with her. What I realized, having my own experience with Jaguar, it, it, it wasn't Tasha trying to get her. People thought Tasha was lying. When her and Tasha would have conversations back and Girl, Tasha K is just as desperate as you, okay? She got a clout fucking with Cardi B. Cardi B responded. She went up. Oh, everybody, the oh, Jaguar right got about 10 people that responded to her with her motherfucking lies. In the day, I was looking at it as Tasha K having a conversation with the same individual. A uh, Jaguar sent a bogus story against James, right? It was crazy. And she was trying to pitch the story to um, Tasha and Armand at the time to get them to go forward with the story that wasn't true. Then I got to experience Jaguar for myself, right? So then when I did, a lot of stuff started to play back into my mind that I would hear and see. You, know? you experienced Jaguar, right? No more or less than the reason. Armand Wiggins experienced Jaguar, right? You thought she, you knew she was hot in the algorithm. You knew she ran a muck. You knew she was full of shit. Just like you and me, we didn't let her come to our platform saying all that shit about these celebrities because we didn't believe it. We just wanted her to get better. Or did you just want to use her for content? Oh, in the streets, even with Storm Monroe, you know, and the, the big falling out that they had. It's, it's so weird when people say that Jaguar hasn't lied yet. What has she told the truth about? Exactly. She repeating Wendy Williams talking points, regurgitating it. She's just a little bit more compassionate with her motherfucking bullshit. Resume has been way expired. She want to align herself next to the greats and act like she was there and they was there. Them people don't know the goddamn Jaguar, right? Jaguar gets public sympathy and empathy because, again, people feel sorry for her. She's just been running around for years regurgitating things she's heard not things that she's seen when you've had people like common summer walker tevin campbell my girl yo yo the rapper and countless others claudia jordan so many other people that have came forward and says that she is a liar if claudia jordan was a doo-wop bop bop diddy doo-wop Okay, and then not only did he respond to this, you know, 
He said all of this to bait Tasha K into a live stream, right? Let me tell you how much he needs Jag by right to do the content that he do. He said all of that during an interview, but different clothes. You understand? He got the hat on. He got the jacket on. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, he, we know he ain't finna double up the outfit. He can't waste an outfit. He got to come on, buy a brand new outfit to sit down and get a live stream. You know what our mom and them do, okay? Because they slaves to YouTube. Now, he basically blostered, excuse me, not blostered, but bolstered. That is the word of today, bolstered. He bolstered Tasha K's allegations and position against Jag to let her know subconsciously that I up up with you. I'm going, I want you to do an interview. And then when I seen it in real time, I was like, oh, he he's going to contact Tasha K to get an exclusive interview. Now, Jag by right has challenged Tasha K to a boxing match, which I did want to see and I probably would have paid for. Okay, <laughs> I definitely probably would have wanted to see that more than wanting to see her talk about Diddy and act like she's some type of substantial person. But it's another thing to be challenged to a boxing match, to be made fun of, to be trolled. Jaguar Wright and Tasha K are somewhat in competition to who becomes the queen of YouTube, right? We know Jaguar Wright cannot hold her own platform. She's building other people, specifically those Nigerians, real life street stars who hate black American women and probably set her goddamn ass up to be the next Mo3 so that they can keep on growing. They want to get the two million. How do we do that? We do a final interview with Jaguar Wright before some niggas spray her down in the streets and it be them niggas out there the real life street stars be out there be them towards a goddamn ass i don't care they nigerian they are grifters and they want to control power and influence especially on a social engineering level they want power and influence over black american people so them using jaguar right is bigger than just the jaguar right them niggas gonna make you the new mo3 but I did, in fact, see Tasha K sit down and finally come on outside when she thought it was safe for her when Jaguar was in jail. Because even at this time, when Tasha K went over there, you know, she looked bored. Like, she didn't even want to be on the nigga platform and shit like that. You know, like, she bigger than, oh, I'm not going to talk about Jag on my platform. I'm going to go over here to shun David Way since he had a viral moment. And when I go live, I'm not going to talk about her because I'm big and I'm bigger than her. Tasha K know just like me the jag wants to be mentioned next to all of the great celebrities anytime people talk about diddy or pull up and think about diddy why do they think about jag by right she's playing this internet game to where she's want authority over all of these content creators to where we have to think and feel like she's intrinsically tied to the celebrity tea station you're not a celebrity person jag you are a youtube personality that is it and you keep denouncing and denying your motherfucking family because they remind you that you ain't shit but let's talk about tasha k girl you scared why you had to come outside when jag was in jail no ever of you two talking no like having a conversation ever. no no yeah. the only reason i'm doing this is kind of like I saw you on the phone with her. They was like, get on Sean Davy Way channel right now. <laughs> <laughs> you had her on the phone. You was like, this Jag, y'all. That was like, they got her. <laughs> Crime Stoppers got her. Apparently they got her when she was on her way to do in the interview at Real Life Productions, right? Well, she said that she did it last night with Gene Deal. It happened last night that today they were supposed to. And Tasha K just, you just exposed your head. They got it when she was on her way to do a real life street production, right? Tasha K's competition is not Jag, it's real life street stars. Because see, Tasha K has a diversity and a stray of people that come to her platform, give exclusive conversations and, and, and interviews. Tasha K is like me. I want that bitch out of the way because as a content creator, she's in the way. How can I interview a Diddy victim when Jack White Wright is claiming to be the authority and the go-to person that everybody's going to listen to about Diddy? So how can I conduct my business? How can I roast and gag a Diddy without mentioning Jag by right when since all the audience feels like she's somehow better than me as a content creator because she's somehow intrinsically tied her 25 plus year old resume to all of these different celebrities who don't fucking know her. So I get what Tasha K is doing, but girl, you still scared to come outside. You built your platform off of beefing and, and, and you got this whole troll sector that's going on, girl. We want to see the smoke. We want to see you go live and give Jag by right the business. Stop ignoring her and stop attacking her when she's at her lowest. This is a coward move, Tasha. You seem desperate, just as desperate as her girl. Like a lunch uh, for a rap party. So who like called that. the police on and said she was a? Uh... 
What happened? I know you know the wine. What, what happened? Allegedly, there mm -hmm. is a YouTuber, a female YouTuber, that okay. um, she had been approaching and coming for and harassing and whatnot. Oh. Okay. And she was just on the official campaign. Shout out to the official campaign. She was just on his channel and she stated okay. that she led Crime Stoppers directly to them literally at, in front of the hotel. What you is, know. can we shout out this YouTuber for doing such an amazing job? Pause on that because I don't know who this person is. A lot of people wanted to take the blame and take the credit for what they did. Now, I know that the Bean team has had boots on the grounds and doing everything. No matter if she did it or this person did it, the only person on YouTube that was in a position to get paid and overtly go ahead and admit that they are snitch to the local police department is somebody who lived in that town. I thought Nicole was going to do it. Jaguar Wright, former friend. But we find out Kulu going around saying, he got $2,500. Shout out to you. But my man, it looked like you snitching on black women. At the end of the day, that's what they're going to say. Because these niggas going to ride behind Jag, especially the nation of Islam. They got and they leader got a beak. His beak is closed by the ADL. So they look at that Jag by right like she the new or somehow part of Minister Farrakhan. Uh, girl, you snitched on her. Them niggas from Nation of Islam going to get y'all over at the Bean Team. I'm just here to tell you. It might not be now. Might not be next week. But they going to get you. Cool loop. Child of people saying you a snitch. Was there a reward? Because normally Crime Stoppers give cash rewards for criminals. They said it's between um, 100 to 2500 for the reward. I don't know exactly. Well, we need to get um, that lady her reward. <laughs> I know it's a lot of stuff none of us believe that, mm -hmm. you know, Jaguar has said. Is there anything that she said that you do believe? I believe when she said she's in jail, she's in jail. Right. Oh, Lord, Tasha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. She said she believed that she is in jail. I she is in jail, not. right? I believe that. That's probably the first truth she's told. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this was boring, honestly. It was a boring op up. It was a promotion for Tasha K Live.com. Girl, I don't know if you could read the room show or not, but girl, Tasha, don't fuck with you. She was just doing it because you had that little viral moment. And just like Jack, she wanted to insert herself in every viral moment with something. To push her own brand. The winos don't fuck with you. Why just a couple of months ago you was calling them drunk hoes? See, I know the winos is primarily black women. They don't give a f about what Tasha K do. They have a conscience of their own. Because we all know that black women is the highest educated demographic. So no matter what they got and leaders say, they already made their mind up about you, girl. You done called them drunk hoes. You done offended them. The winos don't f with you. Tasha K don't f with you. Even if she wanted to, she can't betray the winos. And the people said, absolutely not. And that's why you've been at 133,000 subscribers ever since I came on YouTube a year and a half ago. From zero to 33.3. .3. Shout out to us. Make sure you guys like this f***ing video. So I was a little bored. I don't know about y'all with Natasha K and Sean. Now, it brings me to the point where I say... Tissa Tail has more credibility than Jag Wild Right. Now, I don't know if Tissa Tail has this bubblegum pop image or whatever she do, however she do it. That bitch is beautiful. So I'm going to look at her, okay? I'm going to look at her on mute even if I want to. So she get her weight in. But let's be clear, girl. I be wondering, what the hell is Tissa Tail on? Now she want to inject herself. You talking about Prince Harry, Kate Williams. You talking about all these celebrities, white, black, Asian people using your influence to come out and talk about Jack Bar right arrested. Girl, come on. This is why you are part of the problem, Tissa Tail. But I love you, girl. I'm here to educate you. Somebody tag Tissa Tail and tell her I love her. And I don't give a damn. I just want to look at her and I want to lick her. And I'm just like, girl, if you act like this on the internet, what kind? Of, you can't talk about pink cocaine or anything, girl. You it's a party going on in your head all the time. But you beautiful, and I'm gonna look at your motherfucking ass, and I'm also gonna check you because we share an algorithm. Now I've worked overtime to move myself away from the toxic jag by right sector, who tells the truth about her every freaking day. Sean David Way is a part of, and he knows better than to talk about Diddy and mention jag by right in that video. You got to separate the two because she wants authority. Now Tissa Tell, you are one of the most influential influential people on YouTube. I'm disappointed that you will give jag by right clout, make a video about her, and then talk about Diddy, talk about Kate Way and all of these other people in the same video. Sweetheart, you are conditioning your audience to believe that Jaguar Wright is somehow intrinsically connected to these people. So when she speak about them and steal your motherfucking talking points, you're going to understand what we said. More to the story.
people are saying that the powers that be, and by the powers that be, I mean the record labels and everybody else that Jaguar has been thrown under the table, literally took any opportunity they can to get her locked up. And it looked like she gave them excuse. Now, before y'all say him, what are you talking Tessa, about? Tessa, no, 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 no. Please stop. You cute. You too pretty to be telling these lies and be misinformed. Diddy and them ain't got shit to do with what Jag was right doing her personal life. Like I said, the word of the day is bolstering. Please stop bolstering her allegations, her theories. You have your own theory, but you're separate from Jaguar Wright. Please separate Jaguar Wright from your celebrity gossip content, because if you don't, I got to pack you up. You getting your audience and the people that love and support you and look at you as an authority figure to believe in Jag, and I've been trying to move away from her. She crazy, girl. Please stop giving her that. Please stop using your influence to give her credential. Because ain't nobody going to benefit off of that but real life street stars. I mean, they cap a goddamn ass like they did Mo3. The Jag sector going to be the new Mo3 sector. Okay? And the YouTube songs that she made ain't going to go number one like Mo3. No. She got arrested for this. She got, she got arrested for uh, grand theft over 30 but under 150,000. Y'all, you know that they said she got arrested for not returning a U-Haul truck. Look at it. I don't give a f what she talk about, bitch? I'm finna stare at you. Tis a fine as fuck. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I don't care what you say. I let Jaguar arrest the industry execs want her sent to mental hospital. Oh, my gosh, because she's exposing Diddy. She's exposing Jay-Z. She's making up all these theories. Everything that you say, you're taking your thunder and your clout and giving it to her. Tissa, please don't do this. You too beautiful. I know that I can't even go against you. You too beautiful. No matter what the fuck it is, we don't care if you put pure blood and spaghetti. We still going to watch you. We don't care how crazy you is. They say crazy pussy the best. I'm going to listen to you. Stop. Lending your influence to Jack by right. I'm going to pack you up. I had to go to Messy Hotspot. Shout out to the Messy Hotspot. She mad at my good friend Sandiva for saying she wears size 11 and men. Okay, but shout out to the Messy Hotspot. Okay, I appreciate y'all. Can y'all safeguard y'all platforms from this? We share an algorithm, and I worked so hard to share an algorithm with you, and I feel honored to have the same audience as you could look at you. Damn, you motherfucking beautiful. I love sharing an algorithm with you, but I got to pack you up if you giving Jaguar right all your thunder. Back on time. Now listen, I don't know what Jaguar's into. I don't know what she be into personally. I do find it odd that somebody that spent the last year what am I saying? Year, years exposing Diddy, Jay Z, Beyonce. And this girl works overtime talking about Diddy, Jay Z, and Beyonce collectively have over 10, 20 million views talking about Jay Z and Beyonce. And it all boils down to you putting Jaguar right name in the title, saying people are after her because she's talked about Jay Z and Beyonce. When you have talked about Jay Z and Beyonce, and some of the shit that you said, she's going to look at and use it, knowing that she can manipulate you. You to keep talking about her to substantiate your theory when she just has her own theory too. You, Tissa Tell, are no more or less credible than Jaguar Wright. Let me put this bitch name in your title. I gotta pack you up. You and my same algorithm. I'm gonna tell uh, don't do it. I ain't even gonna lie, bitch. I go to sleep listening to you on mute sometimes. Just moving around and stuff. Cause you know, don't do this. Tissa, please don't. Sure. I put anybody's name on there. She told us before anybody told us. And when I say she told us, she's been telling us for a while. I find it very, very odd. Again, I'm not saying she didn't take the U-Haul truck. I find it very, very odd that you get a Girl, you don't know the facts. Please be, like, you cover so much content. I know you don't have time to go through. But listen to me. Jaguar Wright is a bipolar schizophrenic lunatic. The reason she's arrested the first time, she called the VA, threatening the VA, threatening to unalive the people at the VA because she was so obsessed with her husband. That's why she got locked up the first time a year ago, even though she want to blame it on Jay-Z. She got locked up this time because she took a U-Haul across state line and did not pay for it. And even when she was delinquent on it, she was out of jail when she became delinquent on it. It's not like she was arrested and then became delinquent on it because they couldn't find it. She already owed the people the money for the U-Haul for at least two fucking weeks. Remember, she, she went to jail with the U-Haul, got out, got the U-Haul, and, and then drove it to a whole nother state. She was delinquent two weeks beforehand. So even they got to charge everything up before she went to jail.
equitable tolling. Okay, she was in jail for a month and they charged her, overcharged her. So the 150 got to go down to however much a U-Haul cost a day times 14 and it's still enough money to come. It's a felony. Your mental health background can't get you out of that. She's not going to beat that charge. Lucy and Griege, Clive Davis, Diddy had nothing to do with that, Tisatel. Please do not take your platform and give her this clout. We trying to get this bitch up off of here. We trying to make the internet greater, greater again, okay? And if you keep on, I'm going to have to pack you up. Arrested for not returning a U-Haul truck. And baby, it's a U-Haul truck. She wasn't trying to chop and screw it. She was not taking that to the local Publix. She wasn't taking it to the local Ralph's or Vons. She wasn't taking it to the supermarket. And she wasn't driving that bad boy around. So if she, listen, so if that was the case, then clearly it's a case that, yeah, you had it and you kept it too long and you didn't call them and do what everybody else says. Like, yeah, this move is taking too long. I'm going to have to bring Tissa, that's, that's a regular human experience. That's called responsibilities in which Jag don't know. Jag went to jail, went up there, told the, men, the people at the hospital, excuse me, the people at the police department that she was out on the APAL, that she was crazy and went to jail the day that they got evicted when her mother was outside looking like Don King, looking a mess, looking like a scarecrow, like some straight off a skid rope before her other daughter came to arrest her. Jag was already delinquent. Jay-Z, Diddy, nobody has nothing to do with that. When y'all bolster Jag by right statements and allegations against these celebrities, you guys give her an excuse to not look at her real life. She don't want shit to do with her family because they remind her how fucked up she is and just how much of a loser she really is. And failed artists and ex-artists that don't know how to let that go. And she wants any and all attention based upon her prior resume, which could have been this big and she's trying to make it look this big because she's master manipulating the audience to think that she is an authority. You are an authority, Tissa. Your conspiracy theories, your bubbly personality, whatever the fuck you want is an authority. That's greater than Jaguar Wright. Do not give her your platform. Do not continue to make videos. Do not talk about Diddy and shout her out in that video. You're conditioning and brainwashing your audience to make everybody think she's an authority. Please stop. Miss Truck Fact, next week, okay? Again, I find it very odd. She's been telling us what Diddy's doing. She's been telling us what everybody's doing. Nobody's locked up. People, Slim Thug, Mr. I don't believe in the civil, the Jaguar case is a civil case. It's crazy to me in America that as many things as Jaguar Wright said happened true, and I know sometimes people think she put 20 on 10, she died. that doesn't matter. The point of the matter is the meat of what she was saying turned out to be true you don't gotta believe her from what i see let me know if i'm wrong now this is my opinion. wendy williams said it a long time ago we still looking at nostradamus and figuring out what's true and what's not true it don't matter if it happened two years from now it was in a book and nostradamus has the repertoire for predicting some things that have come true and have not already come true that doesn't mean that we are supposed to look at nostradamus as an authority He's not a mandated book to read in the school with all of his predictions. We're reading Nostradamus like we're reading Revelations. And you think Jag White Wright going to position herself as the revelation of YouTube? When I got packing, I got entertainment, I got my own brand beyond the scope of her. Bitch, you will not be the authority on YouTube. And since I'm going to pack you up if you don't get this motherfucking message. Opinion based upon information and belief, blog articles, news, uh, court documents. It seems like a lot of stuff that she said actually did turn out to at least have some type of merit. How come none of those people are locked up? Tissa, some of what you have said has turned out to have some sort of merit too, which is why you are an authority on YouTube. You offer an opinion. People know that you're not at a Diddy party. People know that you're not there. You don't have to do any of that. Jaguar Wright has pictures, has a resume, and using that to say to the audience, and specifically your audience, that she's the authority over you. Are you fishing for exclusive from her? Because she's just going to run amok and say these conspiracies and go along with you? You have too much authority to f*** with Jag, Tissa. Real life street stars, the Nigerian brothers are on bar at time. 
when Jag go to jail, Jag is done, they're going to make her the next Mo3. You talk about William K. You talk about so many different things, sweetheart. Do not let Jag Wire Wright infiltrate the celebrity news sector already more than she has. And do not give her credit for anything that you say. She's going to take everything you say and say it on the blue couch. Everything that she said about Diddy and Quincy, she stole from me. I've been having a personal communication and interaction with Jag for over a year and a half. I know how she moved. She's going to steal your thunder she's gonna steal all of your talking points and everything that you say you've been standing on it for years just imagine somebody come and steal all of your talking points to say that they're the authority over how does that make you feel as a content creator do not let her do that how come diddy's still walking around ask yourself how come lucian grange is still walking around ask yourself how come all the people she accused of are still walking around but the person that forgot to turn in a u-haul truck on time is the one sitting in jail Baby, Slim Duck can say what he wants, right? Jack has Jack has nothing to do with Little Rod's lawsuit. She spoke about it like you spoke about it. I know how you move. I know how you operate. You're going to talk about whatever you want to talk about. And you're going to talk about what the people used to you talking about. But to convert and to combine Jack's name with these celebrities and people that you have worked so hard talking about, exposing. Jack is going to come, steal everything that you built, say it on the blue couch. And so everything that you've been saying for years is going to look like Jag is the authority of it. Do not let her infiltrate your platform like that. Don't. Don't. It's a detriment. This is how she destroyed platforms. It's a shame that Armand let her sit on the couch to subconsciously ruin. You You thinking about um, maybe if Jag say something about Missy Elliott, she going to come to my platform. You just ruined your relationship. Claudia Jordan, Fox So, she's already working with the executives to figure out how to tell you to kick rocks. You see what happened with Funky Dineva? How she threw a rock and hid her hand and blanked it on the executives? Armand, you out the dough. You out the dough. You did that to your motherfucking self. You don't understand the psychological game. Why do you think I met her in Lamert Park? Got the content. Didn't give it any pushback because content is content. But I didn't do that like Storm and Rose. She wasn't talking about real people, celebrities, people that can give me opportunities, people that I work with, people that I got signed plaques on my wall. Oh, if I let if I let Jag say Megan ate her twide and do this and maybe Nikki can call me Nikki. You fucked up your own relationships. See, that's the difference between y'all. I roast and gag these motherfuckers and they're going to laugh. They're going to be mad, whatever. But I don't invade their personal space, their personal life. That's all Jag do can say what he wants he don't believe in america's civil uh, uh justice system and i'm about to get on board too because how does this work like that even though no lie this whole thing with diddy she yawning girl why is you yawning you tired as fuck i have a feeling well i don't even have a feeling everyone from cnn to ZM, tmz to everybody else is on diddy watch um so you're three minutes in the video it's about jag getting arrested and now you're taking all of your clout all of your Diddy. Oh, I love Tissa Tell because she talk about Diddy. She has the most accurate information about Diddy. You're talking about Jag. You're lending her your clout. You're bolstering her statements. You're making people think subconsciously whatever you say. If Jag said, it's true. Since Jag said, wherever she said it at, they're going to benefit the most, even if it's your intellect. Jag is a bipolar. Dis she, she's literally a psychopath. And I'm trying to tell you guys as best as possible. Listen, Jaguar Wright's friend put her on blast for her being arrested. Now, Tasha K did tell us weeks ago that she was wanted by like crime busters or something like that. And I here's the thing. OK, I must acknowledge this comment because I think it's an important question. Hood talk with Gangster Granny. Thank you. You said, damn, did not. I thought you was cool with Jag. I would not be cool with Jag if I didn't tell y'all the truth. If I didn't tell her the truth. Never, not once have I ever let Jag White Wright come on my platform to talk about no celebrity and her theories because I don't believe it. I didn't even make it into content to say, hey, you can talk about them, but I don't believe you. And I'm a fake the fun and burn some sage. Armand Wiggins. I never once did any of that. Okay, me being cool with Jaguar Wright was to get her the help that she needs. That's been the principal thrust of my relationship with her, to humanize her, to make people leave her alone. I don't people, oh, people cyber stalking her. She's mentally ill. Leave her alone. That also means leave her alone on the celebrity tip too. So never have I once ever blustered or, 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 or aided and abated her frivolous statements against these people that she wants thought that she was going to be peers with in 2024. So when me saying what I'm saying, I'm telling you that I'm the realest motherfucker to Jag by a right. Believe it or not, 
I am the realest when it comes to Jaguar Wright. I've always kept it a being like that. And if you got a problem with that, then, then you know what? That's, that's just what it is. That's not me. That's not on me. All of this tribalism, you got to go along 100% with what somebody say or you don't rock with them or you got to agree with them. And if you don't, you got a problem. I don't have a problem with them. I'm going to tell you the truth. And this is why it's important for me not to be friends with any content creators on YouTube because I'm not going to stifle my truth about you just because I'm cool with you. This is the fucking truth. And you got a problem with the truth, take that up with the truth, not me. Don't kill the mess. I really was like, what did she do? When I heard it was a U-Haul truck, I said, I don't know. It seems like a setup. And just hear me out. I know they're going to people be people are going to be like, well, she wasn't doing nothing wrong. Oh, sorry, guys. If she wasn't doing nothing wrong, then she wouldn't have to be set. You know, this wouldn't be an issue. Yes and no, because we live in America and we've been following the Diddy case. You can do a lot of stuff wrong. It matters how much money you have. And at the end of the day, you ain't do a freak off of anybody. You didn't spike anybody's drink. You didn't lay hands on anybody. You so all of these topics that you're saying, Jag is collectively listening and taking her notes. Oh, I need to talk about the freak outs. I need to talk about this. And I need to to tell, uh, okay, she's talking about this and this. I'm going to talk about this. And this is what it is. And I'm the authority because people are supposed to believe me because when you Google my name, it says American singer. Didn't accost and violate anyone's son or daughter. I mean, to me, it seems like, why is this happening? It's very, very suspicious timing. Now, I did hear, and this was just a blog saying that part of it was the Diddy, the Jay-Z. Now, again, we're not saying Jay-Z uh, was involved in freak offs or anything like that, but his money is heavily tied to, um, his money is heavily tied to Diddy. But get this, according to the Dreams lawsuit- Pause. So she's talking about Jag being arrested. She's talking about Diddy. She's talking about Jay-Z. She's talking about D D Dream. So you're converting all of these celebrities with their millions of followers that, that are on YouTube, clout and everything. You're converting that so that you're conditioning your audience to think that, hey, the next time it's about Diddy, Jay-Z, or the Dream, the, only, the person that Tissa Tell is going to listen to is Jag Wire Wright. The person she's getting her information from is Jaguar Wright. And then on top of that, for you to sit here and say that Jay-Z is connected to Diddy based on financial ties, you don't have no evidence of that. You don't have no proof of that. That's actually uh, accusing somebody of a crime called racketeering, money laundering, which is actionable. Or in the words of YouTube, that can actually come across as a harmful conspiracy against celebrities, which is the only thing that these real life street stars and Storm and Roe have built their platform off of. OK, Jaguar Wright is a, a bomb. Jaguar Wright is homeless. She's no authority figure. Um, She purchased crack over in Lamert Park when I did a live stream following her. Well, let's be clear. That shit was funny this morning. That was funny. <laughs> Just the tears and all that. What's up, bro? Oh. What's up, Reggie? Nigga! Yeah, we not on camera. We not on camera. The fuck? Anyways. And then even in that live stream, if you guys look, you would know that I did not allow her to talk about celebrities. I did not allow her to say any of that. I was not interested in that. I was barely interested in her trying to talk about Tasha K. I wanted to get to know her, to humanize her, because I honestly know and believe that she's a delusional bipolar schizophrenic. Now, if you guys are doing whatever you need to do for the content, then do that. But you don't need Jag by right to substantiate your platform. You don't need to mention her when you talk about Diddy. You don't need to mention her when you talk about Beyonce. That is your opinion. That is your theory or whatever you want to call it about them. That is not hers. She's going to steal your talking points. And if you've been on here saying the same thing about Beyonce and Diddy for years just to tell and she take everything that you say. How does that make you feel as a content creator? It makes you feel like you're repeating what Jag said when in actuality she stole your motherfucking shit. Like she stole Wendy Williams shit and like she's basically trying to put her name next to the greats. Her and Orlando Brown. I saw Jag while right purchasing dope. When I say dope, I don't know exactly what it was. But you know the OGs call everything that's not weed oh, And some of them still call the weed oh. I seen her do that. It's in my videos, okay? It's in my videos when I personally seen her do that. Orlando Brown 
was exposed as a meth head on the Danza Project down in Miami, right next to Charleston White. You got called a meth head and this Puerto Rican boy said that you did meth in his bathroom when Charleston White was sitting next to you? Bye, Orlando. And wonder why Charleston White don't mess with real life street stars. Okay, those are some Akatas. They don't never question any of her theories, any pull up, any receipts. They don't care. They know she's a liar. For your influence, for your money, for your time, for your energy on behalf of Jag. So when that dries out, what's going to happen? Jag going to be the next motherfucking mode three. Mark my words. Jaguar Wright randomly came onto my platform and asked me to meet her in Los Angeles because she had already been in Los Angeles. When me and Jag discussed me coming to meet her, it was an intrinsically implied agreement that I would come meet her. We would do content. And the next day, she would put me in a position to network with Tiffany Haddish. Now, at the time, me networking with Tiffany Haddish means that I get to take my script and take my executive summary, which is Hollywood language, and get Tiffany Haddish to sign on to my script and my project so that I can then take her likeness, take her name, and go and negotiate and bargain and get an option deal so that I can get the money for it. Now, keep it in the bean, I know, and Jaguar Wright will repeat this, the way Hollywood works is if I got these projects, no matter if they come into fruition, I could have easily raised over $100,000 using a celebrity name and likeness to get money to produce and develop this project. It's no different from uh, Diddy getting money from Lucy and Gree Edge and Motown Records and stuff to make the Love album, which flopped. It's absolutely no difference. So me networking with Tiffany Haddish through JAG had absolutely nothing to do with me using her for content on YouTube or anything. And as a matter of fact, it was a bad look for Tiffany Haddish to be in a proximity to Jag because she's going to trash Beyonce. And, and then top off when Beyonce says, if you want to party with the queen, you're going to have to sign a non-disclosure. That was a shout to Tiffany Haddish to say, you want to party with me, you're going to have to sign a non-disclosure. We don't know who you are. Tiffany Haddish has a peculiar way of you know, developing relationships rather is trolling and going back behind and yelling at Shakira and they want to ignore her or pulling chicken out at the Met Gala. She's very hood and raunchy and definitely don't know how to make connections. So I've seen Tiffany Haddish as somebody that I could probably cultivate a relationship with to get her to sign off so that I can do bidding and get money for my project. And she know how that goes. That's how Hollywood worked. So never once have I ever cared about interviewing Tiffany Haddish on YouTube because I don't care. And she don't want to answer the questions that I wanted to answer. Okay, so me going to Lamert Park with Jaguar Wright was on behalf of the next day we're going to get to Tiffany Haddish. And I'm going to get her to sign on to try to go and get an option deal so that I can raise money for my project. But obviously, that's not going to happen, and we're going to get to that. So for Jaguar Wright to sit there on Real Life Street Stars and try to, di 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 try to shoot a shot at me, I call him not not and all of this other stuff to talk about the hats. Girl, you made over $8,000 off of my platform alone. And then on top of that, a platform you and your lesbian lover had, I got that monetized. And I was your manager teaching you guys what to do, how to get monetized and sending positive love, light and energy. And people were supporting you. You made over $2,500 in one month on that platform alone. Whatever happened to that, I don't know who spent the money, nor do I care. That's what happened with me. I'm not going sit, to sit you on a blue couch. Let's celebrate a million subscribers. Those are not your subscribers. You don't have login access to see the stats, the analytics, to know what's really going on with the money involving you sitting on that couch. That's not putting you in a position to win. And then you got a mod squad full of number losers and desperate people who are never going to win because their followers are not leaders. And you don't want to put me in a position to win with Tiffany, even though I don't care anymore. So respectfully, with all the money that you made off of my platform, all the stress and distress, the docs and the stuff that I went through for protecting you, I did not owe you nothing. OK, and I did not need nobody to send me a cash app to buy, you no hat. I told you I was going to buy you one hat in which I had the money to before your my squad donated to my platform It's my platform. They donated to me. Because if they cared, they would have donated to you. So you cannot use that against me. Your mod squad ain't nothing but a whole bunch of weak people that are not content creators that you never want to put in a position to win. Like you don't never want to put no content creator in a position to win. You have ruined Armand Wiggins' chance at the mainstream, and he don't even know it yet. But I knew it. 
as soon as he was over there glitching. Okay, let's be clear about that. Jaguar, right? Uh, let me see. I don't know if that's the fake one, you or anything, but I get out my chat. And the thing is, I worked so hard over the past year not seeing this directly because I was always like, you need to make amends with your family. You ain't nothing. You want to lie. You don't want to hold accountability. So you're not going to make amends with your family. And I think that I was beefing with you and cut you off because of Tiffany Haddish and you not putting me in a position to win, to collaborate and network with Tiffany Haddish. But then again, Tiffany Haddish has problems of her own. Birds of a feather flock together. They say that. Also, when you have certain characteristic traits, they definitely will show themselves in broad daylight. How about Tiffany Haddish sat on Howard Stern talking about Leonardo DiCaprio? First of all, you don't have a gaydar, Tiffany Haddish, because you would have knew that Superman, Henry Cavalli, is one of the boys, or should I say girls, luxurious, thick woman body he has. And now you're going out the Leonardo DiCaprio. That one you definitely would not be going out there. But you said something about chasing out there and wanting to deal with Leonardo DiCaprio that basically bolstered your pedo allegation. Seeing anybody right now? You're single? I am single, but I have been going on dates with a couple of... Well, it was four, now I'm down to three. What do you mean? Where are you dating? Where are you going on, Raya? I was on Bumble, but now I'm, got, I'm off Bumble. Describe the perfect man for you. Who are you looking for, looks-wise? I want him to be handsome to me. Like who? Something like a Michael B. or a Usher is handsome, and Henry Cavill is handsome, <laughs> Brad Pitt is handsome. I think you're handsome. I think really? you're handsome, too. Yeah, I really? think you're handsome. I love the curly hair. Thank you. I love the nose. I think you're handsome. The, really? Also, like, are they taking care of themselves health-wise? Uh, do they like to have adventure? I love adventure. Like, let's love, do count a me journey. Out. Let's go on some kind of mm. journey. Like, let's go on a hike or let's take a trip somewhere. Let's go to an island trip. or something like oh, that. Man. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, like, I love a good trip. Did you try to fuck Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, I'm still working on that. Mm. Now, I think Wait, I why are you not getting old, that done? Why can't you get that done? I don't think I'm his type. Oh, you're his type. <laughs> when I first met him, I told him, you know, I want to fuck. But right. only if you you are your character out of what's Eaton Gilbert Grape. <laughs> oh, get out of here. You didn't say it. <laughs> but only if he's his character out of the Grape movie. And he basically played, and you get West End Grape. The movie is called Grape, and Grape sounds like what? We use Grape to say a certain word on YouTube. And it's giving me MK Ultra and codes and characteristics that are showing because the movie she referred to actually had Leonardo DiCaprio playing a 13-year-old disabled white kid. And she said that the only way that she would be interested in Leonardo DiCaprio is even if he was portraying this 13-year-old white boy that was disabled in a film did she get caught up for using people's disabled kids in a skit with ari spears want to hear hear it go okay tiffany Hyde is your characteristic show and i would never add you to my product anybody to add you and going around negotiating to get money for financing companies after you did this howard stern interview is taking an l and probably more than likely will be blackballed just like you I need you to do me a big favor. Please, can you do me a favor and watch TJ while I run to the bank? No problem. I'll be right there. There's a little mentally disabled and physically disabled black boy. She wanted to hunch on Leonardo DiCaprio when he was playing a 13-year-old disabled white boy. Let's be clear. Whatever Uncle Pete asks you to do, okay? Be good. All right, thank you so much. If you need anything, just call me, okay? Mm -hmm. See you. All right now. We ain't never going to forget that, Tiffany. And if I ever wanted to interview you on YouTube, I got the answers that I needed when you said that you was going after a grown man, but when he was a little boy. That's crazy to me. And this is a little boy that you done did this to. And just when we thought Tiffany Haddish was going to come back from this, girl, they done chopped the eye of bad boys for, and I see why. So who is your publicist? You know, you need to get a pub. This is why we know old Hollywood is dying. You need to get a publicist that's down with the people that can think smart. Generation Z and the younger millennials, we are critical thinkers. You are the same person. 
It ain't no need for you to run to this person or this protected group to protect yourself. Niggas ain't fucking with you, Tiffany Haddish, at all. And you continue to show that you down with that shit. So I'm actually happy I did not meet you. And watch Jaguar Wright steal that talking point since she didn't know until she was in the bushes over here and sit on the blue couch to steal my talking points to turn her back on Tiffany Haddish because that's the next best thing she got. Everybody knows she met with Tiffany Haddish. That's the only person she met with. So she told all these lies about Jill Scott coming, Jay-Z, and never been in the room, shared the same air as them, and she shared the same air as Tiffany Haddish. Girl, you packed up out here on these streets. Stormer wrote in Jack, why, right, set your goddamn ass up. And, <laughs> yeah. Now you're about to make me go in my purse. Girl, go in your goddamn purse. This is the Denot Nation. Donation, y'all don't see that? Shit, y'all, Denot Nation, Denot Ion, Denot Nation, Donation, whatever you want to call me. I need all the love and the support, okay? Takes a lot of time, energy, research for me to do the thing over here. Thank you so much, Hood Project. You said, thanks for welcoming me to the family and best life I've ever came into Denot. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. I absolutely do. Because, you know, um, we pop our stuff. We got satire. We cover trending topics. Not just Jaguar Wright. Not just some nigga shit. But to wrap this Jaguar Wright shit up, she should have stayed in motherfucking jail. And this nigga over here, this Nigerian man, got her out of jail. Let's see what he had to say. Let's get him in there. Let's get him in here. Fuck you. We're going to do um, a Jaguar Wright status update um, for those that need to know. Um, I did one yesterday, kind of told y'all what was going on with the status. Let's, let, let's get at least one person in here. Let's get at least one person in here. His whole M.O. is to get her out of jail, to continue the momentum, 1 million plus subscribers. Oh, my gosh, we don't want to go below 500,000 views in a day. So the only way that we don't slip those numbers is if we get Jag out. It doesn't matter if her, her bill is $10,000, which is $1,000. We're going to make way more money than this. This is an investment. Let's get her out. She's the truth teller, no matter what it is. Even if the knot is saying she's full of shit and we know it, we're never going to say that because we got to build and grow our platform. Storm Monroe did the same thing. It's not, you don't have no integrity. I'm in traffic, so don't worry about it. I can drive and be in traffic. It ain't too bad. Uh, y'all make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe button. If y'all cool with these status updates, uh, Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to keep on giving them. I'm going to keep on giving them. So now the real life Joker, real life street stars, you want to go out and do your own thing on your own platform. You're going to keep giving them, keep giving them, keep giving them because you're nothing without Jack. You're nothing without exploiting a mentally disabled black American woman and you Nigerian. That's why I say Jack is in danger because the minute that they feel like they can't control her or the clock is over, like what Storm Monroe did. Then he embraced her, do an interview with her. And then once he realized that, hey, I can't get no more clout off the positive end of Jag, let me go ahead and crash out on her to make sure these numbers stay afloat. That's why Jag is going to be the new mode three. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, okay? People was worried about her being in L.A. getting picked off. These niggas right here is going to pick her off. You know what I'm saying? For the clout, for the content, for the clicks and views. Jag is a cash cow to them. Just like Takeoff was a cash cow for Offset and Cardi B in them. Even if it means taking you out, we're going to get these clicks and these views. Mo3. That like and subscribe button. All right, I just got a text. I'm about to fill y'all in on what that text just said. Yeah, let's get him in here. Let's get him in. All right, here we go. Here we go. Status update. All right, so as y'all saw yesterday, you know, the Mavs was on. I was trying to get Jaguar out. I said she'll be out by dinner time you know, to be able to go watch a Netflix movie, watch the Mavs game. Um, that was supposed to happen, but that did not happen. So uh, it was some some dude, paperwork party. It, let me, I got Gene Deal and Jaguar, right? They're worried about the content. Investing, flipping money. They know she's a liar. They won't ask her no direct questions. We never seen none of these niggas ask her for one receipt on camera. Even Tasha K getting down to the point where she asking people for receipts, but she still don't show her goddamn ass stealing all these lawsuits. Jaguar right, her bond was sent. Uh, real life, we sent the money to pay it. Uh, it was paid, but then uh, I I don't want to give no credit to Cowboy Cowboy Bell Bonds because y'all don't mess with Cowboy. Uh, Cowboy would not clear it because the people that we had in place to get her out. Uh, shout out Odell, shout out, you know, everybody who was set to get her out. Everything was in place. 
even had a cousin call to get to co-sign her bond. And uh, they didn't let the cousin co-sign. They said it sounded fishy, so they wouldn't let, they would not let us get her out based on what information we had. So, uh, and the money was already paid. So after that, we're like, all right, we're going to just go to another Bells bond. And they're like, we're not going to technically give your money back till another three days. So the money we paid to get her out, we couldn't even get that back. We had to wait three days. So we had to go to another bell. And that's Cowboy Bells Bond. We're not messing with Cowboy. Cowboy Bells Bond, we're not messing with. Uh, whoever, they just they just didn't do us no favors. Um, but I do want to shout out to the Johnny Cochran Law Firm because uh, they're actually on it right now. So um, Cowboy Bells Bond, like any business in America, have the right to refuse any service. If Cowboy Bell Bonds know that she's acting a fool, been contacted by people on YouTube, know that she's a flight risk, why would I bail you out? When I'm responsible for you and now I got to spend resources on a bounty hunter to go and get you and that doesn't even amount to the bail amount or anything that you got going on. Cowboy Bell Bonds use their right to refuse service. Talking about going to the Johnny Cochran law firm. You mentioned it, Johnny Cochran. You mentioned it, all these civil rights leaders and shit like that. Like I told you, don't nobody believe in Jag by right by the Nation of Islam. They need something to believe in ever since Louis Farrakhan is 92, 91 years old and got a fucking gas guard on him by the ADL. Nigga, YouTube probably strike your channel if you play anything with Minister Farrakhan. So I guess she the new oracle of YouTube or the new beacon of hope for Minister Farrakhan since they want to take in and embrace the most problematic Negroes. Street, we go to AAA Bells Bond, uh, whatever it's called, All-Star Bells Bond. I know it starts with A, it's right across the street. They help us out immediately. They say, hey, you don't need none of that, man. Just sign this, pay this, and she's out. So we did that. We signed it. We paid it. They said, give it a couple of hours. She will be out. So we're waiting to 12, 1, 3 o'clock. And then 4 o'clock this morning, uh, they tell us that Jaguar Wright cannot get out based on this bond that she hasn't. That I, it wasn't revoked. They call it insufficient is what they were, the word they used. So it's, insufficient. It's, insufficient is it's insufficient because somebody removed themselves off the bond. I don't know what magistrate would bail her out on a new bond if the previous bond is insufficient. They removed their name. They don't want to take accountability for it. She's a flight risk. They're the ones whose house and car or whatever collateral that they put up is going to be at risk for Jaguar Wright if she don't show up to court. It's insufficient. They say King Payne took his name off of it or whoever name was on it. I don't fucking know. But I, I'm wondering how did they do that and why did they do that knowing that they need help for content. They need her for content even better. I guess she had another bond from another situation that it was an insufficient bond. And uh, they said that she has to see the judge on that one. So that was at 4 in the morning. You know, mind you, we're working on this 24 hours. We're trying to get her out as soon as possible. We do not want Jaguar Wright and Luce Derrick North Tower. We want her outside in these streets to do what she wants to do and speak her truth. So with that being said... She has no truth. She has my talking points. She She's not going to take Tissa Tail's talking points. Um, the messy sweet spot talking points and collectively repeat regurgitated through a character called Jaguar Wright and say it with such conviction to where you think it's original thought when it's not. Um, uh, they tell us that she has no bond, so she has to see the judge uh, to see what the bond may be. It could be $2,500, maybe. We'll see. So we wait till about 10 a.m. And, uh, and shout out once again, shout out Odell. He's trying to get the bond done. Uh, he's moving around. He's 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 literally staying downtown. He's staying there at the jail trying to make sure this stuff gets done. And yeah, because he flew Gene Deal in, and he need to interview with Gene Deal and his old plan. Since Gene Deal ain't no work, Gene Deal is the same as Jag White, right? The Gene Deals. Um, the WAC 100, I mean, well, WAC 100 still got celebrity clients, so he got that going for him. Gene Deal ain't got no celebrity clients. Jaguar Wright is not a celebrity and ain't got no clients that don't nobody want to touch her. So Gene Deal and Jaguar Wright, one and the same. I know Charleston White ain't finna sit on that couch. <laughs> like he did with Ar Orlando Brown, and now he going around telling everybody he a crackhead. Charleston White even went over to Aiden Ross platform and discredited Orlando Brown. Out there. So with that being said, um, they come back at 10 in the morning saying that, uh, and mind you, one of our assistants called out to the bond people. They're saying there is no bond. Mm. Jaguar Wright cannot get out until June 13th, 9 a.m. is what her court date is set. That's next week, Thursday. Uh, she has no bond until then. She will not be out until June 13th, 
9 a.m. next week. So I get that news and I say, hell no. Let me call my lawyer friend. Let me make sure. And I'm like, I'm looking for DA numbers and everything. So I call my lawyer friend with the Johnny Cochran Law Firm. Again, y'all make sure y'all holler at the Johnny Cochran Law Firm. Sir, you're not even black American. Johnny Cochran been gone, okay? We know he lied for OJ because OJ did it. And now the rest of them want to use his name for clout. That don't mean nothing, okay? Johnny Cochran Law Firm, you called them on a consultation to do a bail. They ain't no real money. They ain't no real goddamn case. Since you calling the Johnny Cochran Law Firm about how, why don't you send them to represent her on June the 13th in that goddamn court case where they have all the proof and evidence that she needs to be committed, calling a VA, leaving voicemail. That's what she's charged with. It has nothing to do with Jay-Z in them. So since you are in a rush and care about her so much being out on the streets, when you going to pay for her a professional attorney in her case over there for doing all of the acts that she did that you refused to question her about or hold her accountable? Why you sitting over there sounding like you jacking your off to her whenever she be telling these motherfucking lies? Getting her high to where she wearing sunglasses doing a whole interview. You, you, her and Orlando Brown ain't nothing but crackheads, and y'all know y'all Nigerians niggas supply the dope for them. They are the shit. They are legit. So I call my guy. He's like, hey, man, listen, here's how it goes. You know, normally to do this, we charge, say, more than $10,000. More than $10,000. Normally to do this, we charge more than 10000 But as a favor from, and shout out Heidi, because Heidi put all this together. Um, as a favor to you guys from Heidi, because I've worked with her for a while. I want to make sure that I take care of this, and it'll be pro bono. If anything, I'll send y'all a bill for an hourly rate, but we do want to work with Jack. So he's like, I'm going to send somebody up there right now. We will not go with a no bond. I'm going to see if we get that no bond re uh, revoked or released or dropped, whatever. Because technically, that no bond is dropped. Uh, she can get out. She can get out. So he said, give me about 20 minutes. So uh, Odell... You know, we got every, we got Jack in the hotel. You know, y'all seen the hotel. Y'all now at this point, y'all know where she was at. She was near the south side. Y'all seen her at the pool. We had her put in that hotel. Very nice room. And we had to, you know, she was supposed to leave yesterday, but of course got arrested. So she was, you know, we just paid for extra room for her to stay today. And uh, that's when uh, you know everybody she brought. She, she came with more than one. Jack is here with a few people. Uh, and now that y'all know, Gene Deal, we paid. Everyone's here. Gene Deal, everybody. We got them all here. So we said we got to extend Jaguar rights room one more day as of yesterday. So we did it. And because they said June 13th, I'm like, man, we got to extend it, you know, because she got some people still out of the room. We're like, we got to extend the project for a few more days, if not a week. Um, but with that being said, um, just as a few minutes ago, um, we get a phone call saying the bond has been lifted or dropped. The no bond, we killed that. And Jaguar right will be released in the next couple of minutes. So, you know, take that to the bank. Jaguar Wright will be released in the next couple of minutes. Who's taking it to the bank, you? We ready for her to be gone and done. Bitch ain't no motherfucking whistleblower. She's a communal narcissist, a grifter, and y'all ain't doing nothing with your, mm, oh, wow, that's monumental. And Tissa Tell talking about Diddy and all these celebrities and correlating Jack White right name to it. You guys are not doing anything but bolstering her fake-ass allegations and her fake-ass theory like anybody can't say the shit that she say. Um, so as you can see, I'm, you know, I'm driving. You know, I'm, I'm headed right downtown to do whatever I need to do to help her out. Whatever she needs, damn the Ubers, damn the taxis. We'll, we'll pick her up. We'll move her around. Um, if she wants to do an interview, if she wants to sit down and talk about this, um, we're going to sit her down. We're going to sit her down and take her back to the studio. Uh, anybody who thinks, oh, y'all aren't paying Jaguar right, man, she's, she's very well taken care of. Uh, we, I'm sick uh, of this nigga. We what happened and how this all happened. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Real Life Street Stars. We're going to uh, sit down with her and talk with her. But what she's going to do Of is course you are. Of course you are. It's just an investment. Oh, we got to get her. This is an investment. We're going to make this much money. We're going to make this much clout. Bitch, y'all. The moment she gets out, uh, she's on a flight. We're getting her the hell out of Dallas. She cannot be in Dallas. Uh, y'all be out there trying to get her all jammed up. Ooh, y'all be trying to get her jammed up. So we're going to get out of Dallas um, immediately by plane, bus, boat, train, walking 500 miles. 500 miles, I will walk. Barapa, whatever you want to say. Um, we will get her out of here. Um, she will go back to wherever she wants to go. Uh, we'll, we're going to tell her to spin the glove. Fuck it. 
So she can go wherever she wants to go. Uh, now, with that being said, we want to see if she'll do an interview with us. Uh, hopefully she will. If she doesn't, cool. Let's let her cool her mind. We're and we're going to see the premiere. She out of gas. She didn't grift at everything and everything. Dropped. The only thing she got to talk, she's going to start talking about the YouTube personalities, me, King Bird, the Bean Team, everybody. That's it. The and these fucking Nigerian, like they need, they need to be, they need to be exposed. I'm not all for doxing, but we need to figure out more about them. They are Nigerians. They don't give a fuck about her. They don't. They, they. I'm pretty sure the real life street, t they got some scams up underneath them or some shit. I'm gonna get with my nigga Mike TV to figure these motherfuckers out. Heart, Jaguar's a strong. She, Jaguar is a Jaguar though, so I know she ain't tripping. Uh, she can handle, she can handle jail. That's not a situation. Um. But, uh, uh, of course, we've seen Tasha K, Sean Davey Wade, uh, where Tasha K, she said, um, uh, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say names. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to say names. There's a lady who actually got Jack messed up. She wanted the clout, so we're going to give it to her. A lady named Cleo. She's the one who. Ah, we don't feel like doing all of this. And now Cleo feels like a star because you done mentioned her and this and this. Y'all niggas out of gas with the celebrity shit. And now you mention somebody that don't even have a platform. Bitch, don't mention my name because I'm the wrong one to fuck with it. They should have told you. Stop playing with me. Now she didn't call me not not on your platform and let that shit be that. Don't play with me because I would do a deep dive on who you are. I firmly believe Jag is in danger fucking with you bitch ass niggas. Y'all ready to go up and want to go up to two million. Oh. Ah, what else does Jag have to say? Pop, 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 mode three, bitch. Anyways, please hit the like. Please hit the like. Please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I hate the culture vultures. Me too, sweetheart. Absolutely, I do. Um, they are definitely culture vultures exploiting Jag, a mentally disabled woman. Now, I know, you know, she, listen, I worked super hard to get away from Jag while I write the toxicity and shit like that, right? When I first came on YouTube, my algorithm was nothing but the Jag person in life, throwing her ashes at them niggas out there, going back and forth with her husband, crazy, going intentionally to get locked up. And now she's trying to corner off the, the, the trending topic, celebrity news, gossip. She don't have no intellect. She waiting for me to tap into the Trump shit so she can come around and try to align herself with me. And it's never going to fucking happen. You are a nuisance. And I will squash you like a bug at this motherfucking algorithm. Tis to tell, you're going to get packed up. You keep playing and you keep blostering her or Gene deal. Let's be clear about that. Whack 100 been packed them up on Clubhouse. Um, tis to tell, you are no more or less credible than a Jaguar right, a Gene deal or anybody stop lending your talking points and your audience to them or i'm going to pack you up okay i am because you're not going to share algorithm with me and let her infiltrate our spaces to where anytime i talk about celebrities people are expecting me to talk about jaguar right as well this is your warning okay love you though you're so gorgeous please hit the like please hit the like um block jaguar right out of my motherfucking chat Blocker, blocker, blocker. She want the attention. She want the clout. Block her out of my fucking chat right fucking now. Fuck you. Block her motherfucking ass. Okay? You don't run shit over here. Okay? Block her. You need to be 86. You need to go to your own mama funeral. And when she finally realized that her mama dead, don't let her pull on your heartstrings. She don't care. I had a beautiful statement on Mother's Day on my backup channel. Shout out to my backup channel at the Not Reactions. She came up to my platform not once. Did she feel any empathy for the fucked up shit she said and did about her mama on YouTube? And not once did she wish me and my mother a happy Mother's Day nor her own. Not once at fucking all. Jack Bob Wright is a communal narcissist, a sociopath, an energy vampire, the worst type of human being that you're going to meet. And if you meet her, she will hide all of that and make you think she's credible, but you got to sit back, think about it. She is ruining people's platforms. Armand Wiggins don't even know that she ruined his platform, but that shit going to manifest. It'd probably be not now now, but in two, three months later, Claudia looking for a reason to get the fuck rid of you. Missy Elliott is not going to come on your platform. Uh, uh, Nicki Minaj is definitely not going to fuck with you at all, okay? So, uh, yeah. Please hit the like. Please, please, please hit the like. I greatly appreciate you guys. Uh, wait. <laughs> Bye!